Hello everyone, today we're going to learn about appreciation and depreciation, depreciation in word problems using logarithms. Okay, appreciation when an item increases in value. Now typically this is what we usually want to have happen because if you buy something, you want the value to go up. So when you go to sell it, it makes you more money than you originally paid for it. Depreciation when the item decreases in value. And again, this usually happens a lot of cases with cars or... You know, you buy a car and then you drive it for a while, then you check the value of the car afterwards and you find that it, the car is not worth as much as it used to be. So that is an example of depreciation. All right, so notice again in the formula here, I've got appreciation, depreciation, but the key features to watch for is this, the plus and the minus. Now again, depreciation typically means again that the value decreases. Okay, decreases or goes down. So again, you would figure minus would be good for a decrease because that's usually what you're doing when you're minusing. Appreciation, you're looking at an increase and therefore we look at a plus. But now let's talk about the pieces themselves. The V, okay, you see both in V, stands for the newer price price of the item. Okay, newer price of the item. So again, that's the more frequent, uh, the most recent value, the newer price, you know, as you check the book numbers or the values of anything, that's what it's most currently worth is the V. Okay, now VO and again, that's an O, not a zero, is the original price of the item. Okay? Now, again, way to remember it, O and original, okay, they start with the same thing, so therefore, O is original. Now, the next thing we'll look at is the R, that is the rate now you have to be very careful with rate. Now typically in the problem it is given as a percent. But when it goes into the formula it must be a decimal. Okay, must be a decimal. So again if you don't know how to do it you take your percent whatever they give you in the problem and divide it by 100. Okay. Now the last thing is T, that's time. Now, depending on your problem, uh, it could vary, but in most cases, you're going to see it's going to be in years. Okay, so these are all the key features of uh, appreciation, depreciation formulas. All right, so here we go. We're going to take a look at our first problem. Okay, now again, it is a word problem, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to read the stupid problem and get an idea of what's going on. Okay, so it says, my, cars, my car cost me $14,500 five years ago. If it depreciated at an annual rate of 11%, what is the value of the car now? So again, the things we have to find, V, V, O, R, and T. Okay, now, my car cost me $14,500 five years ago. So this is not the current price, this is an older price. So that's the original, 14,500. Now, five years ago, that is my time, five years. Now, it depreciates at an annual rate of 11%, 11%. But again, this is going to go into my formula as a decimal. So 11 divided by 100 is 0 0.11. And I'm looking for the newer value of the vehicle. All right, so let's set up our formula. V equals VO with 1. Now it's depreciation, so it's minus R raised to the teeth. Okay. So here we go. Let's fill in what we know. Okay. I know that my V, I don't know. My VO is 14,500. 1 minus my rate of 0 
and the time is five years. Now, order of operation says I start with my parentheses, and this is where we always begin. We look in here first to make sure we can do the work. V equals 14,500. Now, 1 minus 0.11 is 0.89 raised to the fifth power. Okay. Now, on my calculator, I'm now going to evaluate this guy right here. Okay. V equals 14,500 times... Now on your calculator, you do 0.89 raised to the fifth power. And you're going to get a really long decimal. You're going to get 0 0.558405. And uh, okay. Now our last step, this is just showing me multiplication here. So that's what we're going to do. So times it by 14,500, and therefore, our answer is going to be 8096.886. Now again, realize we're dealing with money. Okay, so we're going to round this to two places. So you're looking at $8,096 and 89 cents okay so that is what my car is worth five years after I originally bought it at 14,500 and it depreciated at 11 percent all right so now let's look at number two all right now it says I have a stamp collection that's worth 56 dollars what was it worth 12 years ago if it appreciated a rate of 5%? Okay, so the first thing we've got to do is find out what we're missing here. V, V, O, R, T. All right, so let's start. I have a stamp collection that's now worth $56. So it now is worth 56. Therefore, this is 56. Now, what was it worth 12 years ago? So my time is 12. If it appreciated at a rate of 5%, so 5%, now as a decimal, 5 divided by 100 is 0 0.05. So I'm looking for the VO. All right, so let's set up our equation. V equals VO with 1. Now, again, because it went up in value because it appreciated, plus R raised to the teeth. Okay, so let's fill in what we know. V, I know, is $56. VO, I don't know. So that's my unknown. That's my variable. 1 plus the rate of 0 0.05. Raise that to the 12th. Okay, sorry about that. Now, let's start with the work inside the, the parenthesis. I can add that. So 56 equals VO with 1.05 raised to the 12th. Okay, now on my calculator, I can do this math out, 1.05 to the 12th, so I'm going to do that. 56 equals VO times 1.05 raised to the 12th power gives me a grand total, 1.7. 958-563-26. But now, because I have to be careful, I'm trying to solve for VO here, so I don't just times this. I'm going to have to divide both sides of my equation by one this 1.79 to solve for my equation. Now again, you need to use this whole decimal. So you're going to have to use your answer function on your calculator to ensure that this works out. Otherwise, you're going to have to divide it and do 56 divided by, then do 1.05 to the 12th. So VO equals, when I raise 
Take 56 divided by that 1.79 and some change. I get a grand total of 31.18289 blah 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 blah. Now again, I'm rounding to two places. So this two says it stays. So my original value of this stamp was $31.18. Okay? All right, let's look at number three. Now, this one's going to be a little different, so you've got to be careful. A car, which cost you $21,000, is now only worth $6,500, okay? If it depreciated at an annual rate of 10%, how many years ago was the car purchased? Okay, so V, V, O, R, T. All right, so here we go. A car which cost you $21,000, so it's the original co cost of the vehicle, is now only worth $6,500. If it depreciated, that means we're going to subtract, at an annual rate of 10%, so 10%, which is 10 divided by 100, or 0.10. How many years ago was the car purchased? So again, we're looking for time. So let's fill this in. V equals VO, 1 minus R raised, raised to the teeth. Okay. Now, let's do this up. So V, which is 6,500. Okay, 21,000, because that's my VO. 1 minus the rate of 0 0.10, and time I don't know. Now, we can always start inside this parenthesis if we can, which we can. So 6,500 equals 21,000 times 0 0.90 raised to the teeth. Now, here's the problem. I don't know what T is, so I can't really do this power anymore. But it would be nice if I could solve it by bringing it into the equation. So I'm going to take a logarithm. So in order to get to the logarithm, first thing I need to do is divide by 21 grand, because you've got to get the base alone. Okay, and I'm going to do some simple canceling. Again, you can cancel if you want. You don't have to. But again, keep your reduction simple. Yes, I know I can do more with 65 over 210. But again, your calculator is going to do all the work anyway, so why go crazy? I can easily cancel it all off zero, so that's why I do it. But again, if you're the type of person you want to cancel it all the way down, you're more than welcome to, but it's not necessary. Now, from here, folks, we're now going to take the log so I can bring this exponent down into the problem. Okay, so here we go. Log of 65 over 210 equals t times the log of 0 0.90. Okay. Now, I still need to solve for t, but realize what's going on here. I am multiplying these two pieces together. So to undo the link of multiplication, we're going to divide it by log. We're going to divide it by log of 0 0.90. Okay, so t equals, now here's where it comes in on the calculator, and you've got to be very careful, all right? So we start, log, open a parenthesis, do 65 divided by 210, close the parenthesis, hit equals. You get negative 0 0.5093059, blah, 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 blah. Take that, divide it by 0.90 and hit equals, and you get 11, that's what I get, 11.130547.85, okay, now again, we're rounding to two decimal places, so that zero says it stays, so in 11.13 years, this thing will depreciate to a value of $6,500.
All right. All right, one more problem. I know it's a little blurry. I apologize. Okay. But again, V, V, O, R, and T. All right, so this time, let's figure out what we got here. A baseball card in the year 1995 cost you 50 bucks. So that's the oldest value of the card, so 50 bucks. In 2010, it was worth 500. So the newer value is $500. Now, we do have time here. It's hidden in the fact the difference in years between 1995 and 2010, which is 15 years. Okay. Now, find the rate of annual appreciation. All right, so let's set up our formula. V equals VO 1 plus R raised to the teeth. Okay, so let's fill in what we know. Okay, so V, 500, VO is 50, 1 plus R, I don't know, and the time is 15 years. So now, we're, we got to get it, we normally do the work in here, but I can't because I don't know what 1 plus R is. So we're going to have to get this alone. So we're going to start by dividing by 50. Okay, now 50 divided by 5 is just 10, so that's an easy reduction for me. Now, here's the thing. I still can't get at this R with this exponent line around here. So what we're going to do is raise it to the inverse of 15. So the regular is 15 to 1, inverse would be 1 over 15. Okay, now why we do this is when, remember, we go power to power here, and that, you use multiplication. So if I take 15 over 1 and times it by 1 15th, these cancel, giving me a value of 1. And that's what we want to have, an exponent of 1, because in that case, there's no exponent technically there. So now 1 plus r equals... So on your calculator, be very careful here. We're going to do 10 raised to the, open a parenthesis, 1 divided by 15, close the parenthesis, and hit equals. I get this, 1.16591, Now again, do not round yet. You are not done. We do not round to the very end of the problem because I still have this work to do. So I got to minus the 1. So 0 0.16591440 equals R. Now you think, well, phew, I'm done. But you're not. When we give rates, it is always as a percentage. So what we have to do is times this answer by 100. Or the easy way to do it is realize times it by 100 just does two swipes to the right. So you get 16.591 blah, 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 percent equals R. And now you can round to two spaces. So 16.59% is equal to R. And there you have that one. So that's it for now. I hope you learned something. And again, if you didn't, I would suggest going back and replaying this tape again, going over everything, pausing between problems so you can make sure you've got everything on the right track. So see you next time.